Let's make some box plots to compare two sets of data. Here on column A we have a data set that I'm calling X1. It's got this data here. In column B here I've got a data set called X2 and this is our data. And Google Sheets can make a box plot for us if we create this little table here where we have the variable and the variable name and then min, q1, q3, and max. And let's fill that out. So for the minimum of variable X1 I am going to say equals uh, min, left parentheses, and then I'm going to select that data and press enter. And let's do max over here, equals max, left parentheses, same data set. And for the um, first quartile, we're going to say equals quartile, left parentheses, grab the data set, comma 1, right parentheses, that should give us the first quartile of the data. Similarly over here, equals quartile, left parentheses, grab the data, comma 3 for the third quartile, and there we have it. Okay. So we want to grab this data here, like so, insert chart, and fortunately Sheets is smart enough to understand what we want to do and yeah, that's our box plot. It's a little rudimentary looking, but that's okay. They call it a candlestick uh, chart in Sheets. So let's uh, let's leave the chart here and let's put the data for X2 in there. Now, there might be a clever way to avoid um, redoing all these formulas manually, but I'm just going to do it the old-fashioned way. So I'm going to go equals min grab the data set x2 equal max actually I think it may have had the right data set there okay equals quartile let's see if it's got it right. nope it doesn't it's trying to do a uh, rather than column B so it's not quite smart enough although I guess I could oh, well, let's not get fancy quartile uh, equals quartile left parentheses comma 1, enter, and then equals quartile, whoops, equals quartile, left parentheses, grab the data for variable x2, comma 3, and we have that. Now, when I did this yesterday and just put these numbers in here, it automatically updated this chart, but evidently when you do it the way I just did it there, it doesn't do that, but I think we can get around that and by just making a new chart, so I'm going to grab all the data this time insert chart and it doesn't work wonderful okay let's find the candlestick chart there and it doesn't work okay delete chart so that's disappointing so let's um, hmm. edit chart data range is D1 to H2, D1, let's say to H3, see if that'll work. There it goes, okay. That's too bad, it doesn't work that easy. So what I had to do was go in and edit the chart and then go to the data range here and make sure that I selected all the way along here, like so, and it updated here. So we'll need to do that. So this is a good chart that shows how you have the uh, one distribution here versus here. So how do they compare? Well. It looks like uh, there's a bit more spread in the data for two, right? Because the, um, I think it might be called interquartile range from Q3 down to Q1 is larger than here by a bit. Um, otherwise, they're pretty close. So this is a good way to uh, compare those. Let's go ahead and uh, take this chart to its own sheet, move to own sheet. And as usual, we want to come in here and edit the chart and make it a little better looking. So if I click on here, let's see, I guess that's not going to work. If I click on the various stuff, how about edit chart? That's what I'm doing. Okay. And the titles. And you can do that. You can make these numbers bigger, so I, I guess I'll hold off on that. So I'm going to copy the chart, and then you can paste it into a slides document if you need to. So that is how you make box, box plots. You can get this data, and then you'll have to uh, play around with getting the side-by-side -side, uh, charts a box plots into a chart using this format.